All right, guys, I'm coming in this mansion. We got a system fault code 44 up in the master bedroom. Let's get up in this elevator. What's up, guys? Oh, you guys see me set up there. It's pretty cool. The client lets me use the elevator. Well, the clients are never here, actually. They probably come once or twice a year. But uh, we're going to see what's going on. Guys, this is the master bedroom. All right, the system fault went away. So they got to get in the code 44. Let's go see what's going on. Nice scenery, though, I'll tell you that. Imagine waking up to this. Look at this, guys. This is Mac Daddy stuff right here. Look at this. This is nice. And these people hardly live here, man. They're hardly here. Supposedly, the guy's a, a billionaire. They only come here once or twice a year. This is a huge house. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this thing says. Look at that. 44 cannot communicate with blower. We got 41 blower motor fault. So we definitely got something wrong with the blower. Alright, let me get my ladder. I'll be right back, guys. issue here. I'm going to shut this power off. Let's see if I get a good view this time for you guys. Perfect. Get the monitor there. So power's off. We verify that. All right. Now, like I said in the other video, we got to wait five minutes. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we waited five minutes. So this is a three quarter, obviously it's a five ton system. So there's a little, there's plenty of room to pull, pull out the screws and able to take out the uh, module without pulling out the motor. there you see guys we got the harness there we're gonna pull out this harness all right we're gonna test the motor make sure the motor is testing good and uh, I'll show you that right now Always remember, it's always good to have some good, accurate meters. Very, very important. I like the Fluke. I do have a fill piece, 640. All right, so we're going to go show you guys here. All right, so you see that there is a black and blue and red. Okay, so we're going to test from each leg and make sure the windings are good. All right, so we're getting five. You know, five point, five point two. All right. 
Staying steady there. We're getting a 5.2 on this leg too. So that's good there. See. All right. And then we're going to test from blue to black. And we are getting 5.2. So the motor test, test, test good. Now we're going to check the ground. All right. So you would just put one on the red and you'll test it right on the actual motor itself. All right. So we're going to test from here. So it's not grounded there. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on all three legs. Test from here. We're not grounded there. Also test here. We're not grounded. So the motor, motor test is good. We're just going to install the module, which I already have because I do stock a module on my truck. All right. So we're going to open this up. This is a three quarter. You see, it's the HEA 46E A123 three quarter module for this system. So, like I said, guys, we do stock them. We have a lot of Infinity systems out here. And uh, I guess they noticed that, the company knows that uh, we, need to, we need to have them stocked in our truck. Alright. module I'm gonna put it in the same way we installed it all right so it has that plug there sorry about that guys got the plug there I don't know about the view if you guys can see it's a little tight just a little bit I'm gonna plug it in all right she's nice and tight in there see there nice and tight gonna stick it in right there if you notice there you got a almost a oval you see they got one here exactly right there where I'm pointing at it's right in there it's not too bad pretty easy that's it she's in Let's screw it up All right, guys, so I'm just going to plug it back in. I'm going to do a reinstall. That's it. Plug and play. Oops. They made this for dummies. This is dummy proof. I'll tell you that for a fact. All right, cut the power back on. Going. All right, so let me do a reinstall and we'll check everything out. All right, guys, we're doing a static pressure check right now. This is live. Let's see what it says. All right, everything tested good. We're at point T. Go to checkout mode. Now we're going to check the system pressures. All right, so this is a uh, two-stage compressor. So you got your low and your high. We're gonna set this up. It's gonna start. All right. So system uh, will first stage will last for five minutes, and then we'll uh, go to stage number two, and then uh, we could check the system out. All right, guys. Ah, oh, I love the smell of that salt water, man. This is the best part of my job right here, man. Nice. Got another system in here in this closet. Then we got another system in here in this closet. System number two. Check pressures.
so it's about 70 degrees out here um, we're checking pressures it's here guys so far so good got my probes hooked up down there man tooth man tooth all the way anyway everything hooked up uh, we're just gonna check uh, amp draws and stuff like that make sure everything's working fine coming in at 239 239 got about 1.3 amps Let's see check the common on the compressor 15.3 amps I take amp jaws coming off the capacitor so got 4.5 we'll double check that and we got 1.1 1 .1. so we'll test this cap out all right so 4.58 time to we'll divide that by 412.4 divided by 412.4 equals so it's 29. It's kind of low. We're gonna replace this capacitor. Normally, so when I do that reading, I know it's weak. I also go the extra mile. It's 29. All right, so we got the new cap on there. All right, so it's not a 40 slash 7.5. It was a 45. That will that uh, what was on there. I had to change this. Um, Am jaw is down to about 12.8 compared to 14 so everything looks good so that test checking the uh checking the system on that test uh it's a formula works pretty good so all right guys pressures look good as you can see so i'm gonna wrap this up man and uh hope you guys hope you guys like this video so like subscribe and share and i'll see you on the next one all right guys thanks